right, thank you so much for tuning back in to another reaction. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. And we are Offset. Era. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right. And uh, this is the first uh, new one for us. Uh, yep. Mary Hamada. Mary Hamada. Hamada. Uh, you guys suggested this a group because of our baby metal suggestions. I believe the comment was, uh, if you like baby metal, then you will enjoy Mary and Mary her sister. Mary and her sister, Ari. Ari, Ari. It's spelled E-R-I, so if there's any mispronunciations for any of the names, we sincerely apologize. Yeah. Mari does metal, rock, pop, ballads, just about all genres. Her voice has become stronger since her metal start in the 1980s. Hmm. Stay gold for a more recent one, Blue Revolution for a classic one. I just I opted for a newer one. Yep, we're going with Stay Gold. Stay Gold. Uh, before we jump into the video or look at anything there, we like to read about the artist. Yep, uh, get a little bit of insight as to as to who it is uh, yeah, or who it is we're looking into and listening to. And what do we know about Miss Mary here? Mari Hamada, born July 18th, 1962, is a Japanese heavy metal and pop rock singer. Since her debut in 1983, Hamada has become known as the heavy metal queen of Japan. What? Throughout her career, she has released 25 singles and 23 studio albums. Holy crap. That's a lot of albums. Holy crap. It says in her early history, she started singing when she joined a choir at elementary school and participated in recording TV commercial jingles while in junior high. While, at, while in high school, she formed a punk rock band called Mari Band, <laughs> and during her tenure at university, she was a backing vocalist for the band Hamachan, and the lead vocalist for the all-female rock band Misty Cats. Hmm. So she's got quite a start, and a starting in 1883, which was when I was born, so she's been doing this longer than you've been alive. She's been doing this for as long as you've been alive. I know! Longer than <laughs> I've been alive. No, just as long. About as long. 83. Give or take. But All right. Well, that makes me kind of curious. Let's jump and look at this video here. Uh, so, again, Stay Gold. This is his full version. I, from the video, can't tell if it's live. I think it, it might be live. Uh, so There's a lot of Japanese in the title. Yeah, not much here to go on on the description. Not a huge amount of comments here, but let's take a look and see what we got here. Incredible. Is she human? <laughs> We're about so, to find out. There's some Russian in here, some more Japanese. I guess I couldn't just do. Yeah, good. Thank God for uh, for Translate. I hear Reaper and Golfoss and Mari's cool voice. To the sound engineers, respect to you, at least two of you, and I can hear you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Wow, Google, Google Translate's weird. Old Lady Mary, I'm dying. I love it. And it rarely gets into the Euronet. I've heard that great before. Great. <laughs> Google Translate's so yeah, fucking weird. It is, yeah. This is official. I was surprised. Okay. Wonderful singing voice. It's cool every time I hear it. All right. I think we can go ahead and jump into this. And for anyone jumping in with us for the very first time, welcome to the channel. Welcome indeed. This will be our first time checking out Mari. I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. I apologize for the mistakes <laughs> moving forward. Uh, but yeah, we're excited to hear it um, and looking forward to it. But if you're not new to the channel... You know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time for... The glorious... Epic... Transition! transition. <laughs> Let's do another little flippy boo just yep, to make so that sure your space bar cooperates. Yes, exactly. Space bar is important. Yep. All right. Well, I don't really know what to expect. We kind of we've just got done listening to Baby Metal, so it's oh. fresh in our minds. Let's see what we got for, uh, with Mari here. Here we go. What does that sound like? Classical something. Sounds like. Uh... Not Moonlight Sonata, but close. There's another one. It, it kind of sounds like uh, in a classic rock or even like a Metallica song. Hmm. Nice. Uh-oh. Kind of symphonic metal kind of thing going on. Ooh. 
So far, it just seems that she's got a really strong, uh, kind of a mid-tone voice, I would say. Uh, the vibretto is really impeccable. She's and got a range on her, too. Yeah, she has a lot of power. A lot of power. I, you can see that there's a lot of experience here. Yeah. Uh, this is an, a later video, so she's been at it at, by this point probably for a good part of her career. So yeah. she's in prime condition here. Uh, I like the the stage setup as well. I think it's kind of a cool setup. They got flames and little torches, and then like the whole yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot more effect. symphony going yeah, on. Yeah, I was not expecting like, it to be so symphonic. Yeah, like this is, you know, this. Yeah, I, I wouldn't go so far as directly compare this to Baby Metal. Listening, I mean, no, I compare this closer to uh, Nightwish, honestly. Yeah. Uh, so if, uh, maybe like some a, of like your a, Nightwish fans might be watching some like of a little bit of videos. like a little bit of Nightwish and a little bit of like um, Love Bites. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's like if the two bands collided and had yeah, a baby. I think if this were Love Bites, it'd be uh, 200 beats per minute. Yeah. <laughs> it would be cranking, and they'd be like tapping on the solo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, um, yeah. That's 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 true. I mean, I don't know. I can't speak for these musicians, but those <laughs> those girls are on another level. Her vocals, though, is what's really uh, the strong part of this so far. So I was wondering where the other vocals. Yeah, because I I didn't see her doing that that sustained high note. She was carrying yeah. the. I was wondering if it was like, did they? Is this not live? Maybe it's some kind of. Nope, dub, uh, but backing yeah. singer. So is that her sister that they mentioned? You guys will have to let us know. <laughs> they got close, similar sound. Some nice tapping going on. Sounds like there's two of them doing it. Yeah. Unless he's got a hot like a armor or on. Damn. Oh, I love the way 
she flips her towel around. She got so up. <laughs> Yeah. He earned his he earned his cash for that day. <laughs> He's a good guitar player. He's got some wild ass hair. He's the ass. He looks kind of like it looks, it's kind of like Freyer from uh from the new God of War games. <laughs> All right, that was interesting. So that was Mari Hamada. Hamada, stay gold. Stay gold. Uh, I could definitely hear like um the 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 uh, the the experience there in the vocals yes. uh, really phenomenal use of vibrato her um the way she was kind of riffing along i mean she i feel like she could have actually gone into a, like a solo like thing with just her vocal yeah. and guitar when they were standing next to each other i was almost hoping that they, she was going to do something to like, like that. something like a, like a back and forth uh, yeah. vocals and the guitar <laughs> that would have been cool that would have been really that really, that really would have been interesting but she did hit some notes that just man yeah oof She's it puts her in a class on her own. Honestly, uh, we've listened to a lot of phenomenal vocalists on this channel, and even when we compare to like, you know, it's the likes of like uh, Love Bites, which uh, Akani in Love Bites, the lead singer, is a phenomenal singer. Um, but even even stand she stout she stands in her own class. Even besides that, yeah, uh, we love bands for their various reasons. And this one for me, it was more of the control, the vocal, the strength. This, the the assertiveness, the confidence, the full tone of her voice, uh, and then just the fact that she seemed to do it with no effort. Like, it just seems like it just comes out of her, which is really cool. And I really liked the interplay between her and... Um, if uh, Correct me if I am wrong, but that, my best guess is that the back the vocalist in the background next to the keyboards is her sister. Yeah. Like I said, if I am wrong, you know, just, you know, politely and firmly inform me of my mistake. <laughs> you know... Because you know what they say about assumptions. Yes. Anyways, but the the interplay between the two of them was amazing. I feel like the you know, the way she was sustaining that high, you know that yes. that's just that's that long sustained note like that, and then how she, and then how Mari did that. Right. You know, it was like, you know, it just shows that both you know there is no lacking chops from either of them. No. And the interplay going back and forth like that. Mm -hmm. That was really cool. Their pitch was almost identical too. I would be surprised if that was. Yeah, their pitch was pretty close. They were. They were mirroring each other very closely. Yeah. All right. Well, that was our reaction to Mari Hamada, Stay Gold. If that's something you guys liked and want to see more of, you know what to do. Yep. Send uh, send some great links our way, whether they're music video links, studio session links, live video links especially. Yep. And we will happily check those out as well. Of course. But in the meantime. We are Offset Era. We are two-thirds of Offset Era, based out of sunny Southwest Florida. Yep. We have an extensive playlist, and our music's available on digital streaming platforms of all of all sorts. If yep. you're curious as to how we sound, yep. 
and we have a brand new EP in the works coming out in the spring. Yeah, can't wait to have that out. You guys should have it soon. Uh, yep. We'll be putting out some more, you know, propaganda when it comes out. I want to call it propaganda. Promotion. <laughs> we'll do propaganda. Our yeah. <laughs> you Every, will listen. Everything belong to state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we also have a show coming up. That's right. Our first show of the year is Saturday, February 10th at Ollie's Pub Records and Beer in Cape Coral with Hellfrost, Further Within, and Psychofluid. Can't wait to play that show. Yeah, I'm really psyched about that. It's you know, Hellfrost, you know, that last time we saw them, they sounded fantastic. They were good. You yeah. know, Psychofluid, I've seen a couple of times, and I think we've been on the bill with them a few times. Yep, they have. Those guys rip. Yes. You know, Ryan's a killer bass player. Yeah. Further within, I think this will be our first time sharing with them. So yeah. or sharing a, a bill with them. So we'll have to see how they are. Yeah. Hopefully they're all good. If you plan on coming out, know that it's a bike night and it'll be very hard to find parking. So yes. get there very, early. Well, that's putting it mildly. Yes. In our experience, finding a place to park in that part of town on a bike night is a pain in the ass. Nearly impossible. Yes. Yeah, so for anyone who plans on coming out that night, come early, stay late. And most importantly, Get there safe and get home safe. Exactly. If you're going to drink, don't drive. And if you plan on driving, don't drink. Exactly. Great. That's the end of this video. Thank yep. you so much for commenting, liking, and subscribing. Let us know what you want to see in the next one. And we will see you then. See you there. Peace out.